Anyway, I haven't gotten ready today because it's Monday and I decided to tackle this week by cleaning my craft room, which is why I thought I would um, hop on and give you guys a tour of my craft room. And um, it is such a mess, guys. So I, my craft room is technically clean, but I did want to show you. So this is outside of my craft room. So I just pull everything out. And, um, I mean, it keeps going and going and going. So I pull everything out of my craft room so I can, you know, organize and then put things back into my craft room. So this is all the stuff that I'm working on and projects and stuff. So it doesn't really have a place because I just need to finish it. And, um, it's a ridiculous mess. So, um, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to show you my craft room. I call myself, um, Jack of all crafts, master of none. Because I don't just crochet and I don't just paint and I don't just um, glue stuff. I do everything. And as soon as I, like, I'll sew something and then I'm like, that's fun. And I don't really want to sew anything for a while. I want to do something different. So I just have, I mean, it looks like a mini Joanne store in there. And it's ridiculous. So I always think it'd be easier if I just did one or two crafts. Uh, but instead, I'm just, um, I just have crap everywhere. Okay, so let me show. I feel like you guys are like looking in my lingerie drawer or something. All right, so this is my door. It says, Heidi Swap made this for us when we went to Snap. It's done with her make machine. It says, you absolutely amaze. And um, so that's how you enter. I'm really nervous to show you guys this. So look, I even cleaned up, but it's still a mess because this is just stuff I don't even know where to go. Like my daughter's going to be a unicorn, so I'm working on that. Okay, so behind the door is my paint shelves. These are these little tiny ledges that I've made. I have them out in my living room to hold pictures. They actually have a lip right here on my living room so the pictures don't slide off. But I just, I have to utilize every stinking spot in this craft room because I just have so much junk. So starting at the top, it's just color coordinated. And I know people have always commented about how, you know, you don't need that much paint, you just need the basics and then you mix it. But I work with, um, plaid and I work with deco art and so they've actually sent me a lot of this paint so don't I mean I haven't really bought it all because I did go to um, art classes so I can mix colors and make my own colors but it is really nice to be able just to grab a color so moving down I've got um, all sorts of different Mod Podges and triple thick which is a, gla a glaze that's my fabric paints next um, these are paint markers. I've got fabric markers. These are my brush pens for lettering, sharpies, and then my paint pens or my paint brushes. And then down I've got crochet hooks. Um, I don't even know. All sorts of stuff. Rit dye. Down here is bells, eyeballs, popsicle sticks, floss, clothes pins, hair stuff, pom-poms. And I even have stuff on the floor, my smooth finish from Make It Fun. So I actually used to craft in the corner of my living room and I had half my craft supply stuffed in a closet and the other half down in my laundry room. So I was so excited to get this big craft room. I mean, it's it's a bed, it's supposed to be a bedroom. It's a normal sized room. And then I quickly realized that how fast I outgrew it. It's just ridiculous. So I was I was at the point where I was in a living room and now I'm outgrowing a whole bedroom, so it accumulates fast. Down here, I want to. I actually sew, sewed a Barbie holder that looks like a shoe holder with cute fabric. So that's on my to-do list is to sew a really cute um, organizer here for the back. But I've got stencils and more red dye and more paint pens and glitter. And I mean, you can see these are all my punches from Fiskars, my big paint brushes. This is my makeup. Fun. I work with Make It Fun, the floor craft. So that's these are my supplies right there. I've got business cards over here. I have old CDs because I seem to keep crafting with them. Um, decorative scissors and then bigger punches down there. My pom pom makers are right there. So lots of cute stuff. My son made me that for Christmas <laughs> or Mother's Day, I think. Okay, so here's my desk. I actually. It is two shelves. There's a shelf here and a shelf there. And then I had my husband add a big, huge piece of um, white. I don't know what it is, actually. It's huge. We had to cut it down. And then there's some um, 
brackets he put underneath so it supports it a little bit so it's not all waiting on the desk. But I've got printer, um, there's cards, there's, um, I can't even tell you, these cool um, paint pen things. This is filled with felt flowers for my daughter's unicorn. This is kind of my catch-all right here. More crap. See, this is all stuff I make in cheer shirts. My daughter made me a bookmark. So my craft room desk, whenever my kids need something sewn or fixed or like a Polly Pocket head falls off, you know, they bring it and they just put it on my craft desk. So I come in here and it is just filled with crap. Like that's kind of, I don't want it in the living room and I don't want stuff here. So they just know to put it on my craft desk. So it just accumulates like my son wants me to fix his crayon roll. I mean, there's just crap everywhere. So up here, I made these bulletin boards, which I'm actually going to replace. I like having an inspiration board um, to put all my crap on. There's my husband without a shirt on. You see him? <laughs> He'll be embarrassed, but he won't watch this video, so it's fine. I actually like to have a space to put up my inspiration stuff, but I just need the space for storage now. So that I think I'm going to actually add, see how this is a pegboard? I think I'm going to do a pegboard up there so I can hang more stuff. So I've got this camera. It's from Ross. Um, my Heidi Swap light box. This is where I keep my rulers. Down here it's just pins. I've got scissors, more markers. I just got this in the mail from Prismacolor. Look at so fun. I love their colored pencils. Over here is my cameo, and then it, there's a curio back there, and then I have a mint down below. So down here is odds and ends. I've got my sandpaper stuff and my rags for stain and paint chips and um, paper stamps, lace, quilting stuff under there. It's just not so pretty. Those are my mats for my cameo. And then this is all my vinyl. I actually need about four more of these. These are just shoe holders. Um, and my husband mounted it to the wall for me. And I just am not growing that so fast. And I even have more vinyl over here. And I'll show you that. But I have them color coordinated. Like these are all sticky. And that's like this is white and gold sticky. And then this, these are the heat transfer smooth and heat transfer glitter. And then um, specialty stuff. So like neon and um, like you can see that's diamond plated. And this is glow in the dark. And there's chalkboard so it's kind of it's I know where everything is it's like an organization mess but it's organized to how I use it and then here's my little tools and then my sample kits and then this is just a clipboard and an extra cutting mat up there's my mink foils and my instax camera and just kind of odds and ends so I'm thinking I might buy another one of these and stack it on top I don't know how that's might look a little crazy but I just need more room my husband's already he wants a three-car garage so we've only lived in this house I think two and a half years and he's ready to move because he wants a three-car garage and he keeps telling me I will get you a bigger craft room and so it's really tempting but I hate moving so probably won't happen up there I created this is my very first glue gun I used it for about four years and then it kind of split right there. It broke so it wouldn't heat up anymore. So I spray painted it gold and I stuck it up there and I made this create sign. I know it's hard to see because of the glare. But that's one of my favorite things. Um, over here is, um, I just folded burlap into this frame and then, then I stick my magazines and stuff like that, little inspiration. This is um, a little cedar chest sitting there. I think I just got it at Walmart. But I liked it because I used the top of it for taking photos. It is really dark. I'm trying to see if I can get out of the glare. I use the top for photos. Like over here is my um, umbrellas. So I'll sit right here and I'll take good photos because it's right in front of the window and it gets great light. And then down here is just, guess what? More crap. Surprise! This is my mint and curio stuff. So this is all the, ex I got it all from Expressions Vinyl, but it's all sorts of fun stuff in there. 
Um, this is stuff I'm working on and more stuff I'm working on. So things I need to take photos of. I can't even tell you what's in there because I stick it in there. That's why I leave my room a mess is because I stick it in there and organize it and then I forget about it. So just more crap. So like I said, over here's umbrellas and backdrops. And um, a couple of photo props. I also have more photo props down here. I just have bought a bunch of wood. And the foam core boards are great for white. And I've spray painted it colors. So when I want to take a photo, I can pull it out and stage it on that photo. And then I forgot to tell you, I've got my patterns in here. And then down there, I actually have like my kids' pictures that they draw me and stuff like that. And then here's my ribbon. And I just organized it. It's all color-coded into sandwich baggies. <laughs> I love, I don't know, um, those really cute ribbon displays where, like, they take up the whole wall and the ribbons are still on the spool. And I just, that would take up so much room. Okay, so this whole set is actually three shelves. I'm trying to back up so you can see. So there's one big shelf, two big shelves, and three big shelves. And then I added boards in between. And then I added some molding across the top because I just kind of wanted it to look like a built-in instead of three floating shelves. So it's actually just three cheap shelves from Walmart. And then I've added some wallpaper in the back to make it look fun. But here are my blanks, which um, in the vinyl world, blanks are just blanks, shirts, and cups, and mugs, and bags, and stuff to put vinyl on. So... Anytime I need to do a project, I kind of go through there. I've got baby onesies and t-shirts and um, there's clipboards and all sorts of little stuffs in their cups. That's my blanks, even though it has a sewing machine, but it's for vinyl. And then this is more vinyl crap, uh, supplies, scraps, specialty vinyl. That's the pattern stuff, vinyl, and then the t-shirt vinyl. That's how I used to store my vinyl. And then it just outgrew that. My yarn stash, which... You obviously know I'm not a big crocheter because I just wanted one of every color and then I stopped <laughs> collecting beads. And so like when I do Sculpey and stuff, I have old pans to put Sculpey in. Sewing box. Um, these are mm, scraps of vinyl because I can't throw anything away. I keep all different si sizes. And it used to be organized as far as heat transfer and adhesive. And guess what? It's not organized at all anymore. So this is a cute little box I got at TJ Maxx and it is filled with my glue guns. So I've got all my glue guns and then I have like, this is a hobby holster. It hangs off of your craft desk to stick your glue gun in. It's way fun. I love it. And then I've got glue sticks. I have my scented glue sticks, which are awesome. And then I have these cool ones from Elmer's that are less mess. There's not any strings or hardly any strings. This is a cordless glue gun. I'm trying to think what else is in there. I've got big glue guns, little glue guns, low temperature glue guns, high temperature glue guns. <laughs> I like glue guns. Um, this is books. Um, so I took a lot of art classes. Art was my major. Um, and so I've got lots of sketchbooks and art books and stuff like that in there. So I just, those are Ikea. And I added some washi tape. Up here, this is where I keep my receipts because as a blogger, I've got to keep all my craft supply receipts and turn them in for taxes. It's the least fun part. You can see that they don't even want to stay in there. There's a ton. And then here's some fun books. Chalk lettering, the washing tape one um, from Amy Anderson from Mod Podge Rocks. And this one's from Jamie from Craft. And uh, this one. Random Acts of Kindness is from Mickey. So, lots of fun. Oh, that one's from Beth Flamingo Toes. I don't know if you guys follow her. All oh, my craft friends that are so creative. Um, Up there, I just kind of hand-painted Dalmatian stuff. I've got tulle. And these are trims. Um, Rick-rack trims. Kind of some odds and ends. This is scrap fabric. So my daughter loves it. She was actually just making puppets. So I just pull that down and she can go through and cut up anything. And she loves that. This is pom-poms. And then this is scrap fleece. So I used to make animal scarves and um, 
So I always kept my fleece strips. This is like a boss. And then this is my first sewing machine. Obviously, I have an attachment to the first things. So this is my first sewing machine, and I spray painted it gold and fancied it up. Made me happy. Um, I have a tension rod up here above my sewing machine, and that's where I keep my baker's twine. Easy access to that. I got this thread holder from, it's a thrift store here called the DI, and I love it. I like having it up and displayed. I actually bought one that was a lot smaller, and then I found that one. So I've actually found two at the thrift store, so make sure to check those out. And then I have my, my scissors hanging off the edge of that. And then my sewing machine. My grandma gave me this awesome Singer sewing machine. And my dad threatened me that I cannot paint it <laughs> because he knows me so well because guess what? I paint everything. Surprise. So I haven't painted it even though I do think it would look a lovely shade of hot pink. But I won't. Respect his wishes. Got a chair. And these are some stuff I'm working on. See, everywhere I look is just projects. <laughs> um, a chalkboard wall up there. I actually don't change this out. That's probably been up there for three years. <laughs> so not very good. These are my alt lights. These are so handy. Um, I have one there and then I have one here. They're handy for sewing and to see, but I actually like this one for vinyl. I clip on my project and this one magnifies it. So it's really, it's super nice to have. I actually haul out in my living room. So my craft room is always so full that I can't craft in here because it's full of crap. So I kind of just call it my storage room. And so whatever I'm crafting, I haul it out to the living room and craft out there because I just can't do it in here. So this is fabric. I love fabric. And I was just thinking, I don't know why I buy fabric. I'll buy fabric because it's cute. And then whenever I want to do a project, I want to, like, my favorite part about doing a project is going to Joann's and buying new fabric. So I'm not entirely sure why I keep fabric because I never use it. I just like to have it. It's so pretty. And I mean, it's all color coordinated. And I, I mean, like, I've, I've gone through it and tried to get rid of it. But I love, like, they're all so cute and I really like them. And I use a lot of them, especially, like, the blacks and white ones. I use a lot for backdrops. So like I just used this polka dot one and the striped one for Halloween backdrop. So I mean I, I use them kind of. But see look I just bought this one. I don't even know what I'm doing with it. These are both from Hobby Lobby. Aren't they cute? Okay and then this is knit. That's all my knit. So that doesn't even fit in there. So my goal was to um, clean out my knit <laughs> and clean out my fabric so I could fit it all onto these shelves because that's ridiculous. Moving up. This is the last shelf. We're getting close guys. This is paper and this is wood. So I used to do wood blocks like the fall and the spring wood blocks. So I have all these wood cutouts and these are letters. So I just kind of stick them in here. Flowers, frames. I actually need to go through that as well. So this is what I originally wanted to do, is my cookie jars. I wanted to make the whole wall cookie jars. So it kind of looks like a candy store. But I have too much crap. So right now I have, there's thread in that one, washi tape. This one is um, ink pads. This one is tags like for gifts and bows and like little embellishments. More washi tape. This one's ABCs. This one is glue sticks and like there's a Lean's Tacky Glue and Elmer's Glue. And then this one is buttons. All I used to have my buttons all color coordinated and then they got dumped in there instead. And then up here is more glue. All different kinds of adhesive glue dots and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Oh, my, my uh, protectors for scrapbooking. I was just looking for those and I couldn't find them. That's what happens when you clean your craft room, guys, is you can't find anything. It's much better just to leave it out. Okay, so my closet is a work in progress. I kind of haven't figured out what 
I want to do yet with my closet. So it's kind of organized and kind of not. So I'll show you. Um, down here is my laminator, which I love. If you guys don't have a laminator, you should get one. I love my laminator. And then this is my mink machine. I don't know if you guys have seen a mink machine. I'll show you real fast. So this was done in mink, if you guys weren't here at the beginning. It gold foils stuff that you print out. And then these are all the colors over here. So it doesn't have to necessarily be gold. It just, I mean, you could do turquoise and blue. Let me see. I've got, so this was done. So you can see. That was foiled so it's just a it heats it up and you run it through it's by Heidi Swap and it's awesome I very much like it I've got a quarter of my toe so that's where my laminator and my mink machine are down there up is scrapbook paper and so I don't really scrapbook anymore I wish I had time I just don't but I use a lot of these I just did paper flowers with a bunch and then I actually use a lot for backdrops for photos for um flat lace. So I still collect a lot. Um, this is my paint tarp and like my scrap stuff for staining. Up here is my stain and my paint. I, I have like the big gallons of paint downstairs, but this is like the little, I always buy these little sample sizes that you can get at Home Depot in these fun colors. Um, and that's what I did my daughter's room with. So I like to keep those easy access. And then up here is old frames and stencils and all sorts of little random odds and ends that I don't really need, but I'm going to keep. This is sheets. So Sugar Bay Crafts um, would tell, would say that she'd go to garage sales and she'd buy sheets because it's a huge amount of fabric for really cheap, especially at garage sales. So I was like, that's such a smart idea. So I started keeping my old sheets because it's good for, um, like if, if you're pattern testing or like I did bean bags, so I lined my bean bags with old sheets and then made the cute fabric on the outside because I wanted it double layered. So sheets are in that one. It seemed kind of a silly thing to keep. Levi's, stuffing, felt, and then these are old t-shirts um, because old t-shirts are great knit and to cut up and to make into new t-shirts. So I keep a lot of my old t-shirts, especially with my husband's because they're a lot bigger. So this, like I said, it's a bedroom. This closet is a, supposed to be a legit closet. So I hung my duct tape where you're supposed to be hanging your clothes. And then back there, it's, I mean, there's a rack back there, but this is kind of the mess where I can't decide if, if I'm going to do shelves or what. So this is a nice spike quilt that I've been sewing since four years ago. One day I'll get it done. Scrap fabric. So this is my kind of my scrapbooking section, but since I don't scrapbook anymore, I really need to figure out what to do. And guys, you want to see the best part? I was cleaning out and look what I found. This is what happens when you're a hoarder. I found a bag of Cadbury minis. Is that not the best thing in the whole world? Yes, that's what I thought. So it pays to be a hoarder. So down here is a shelf I got at Home Depot. This is little notebooks. This is actually Whenever I go to blog conferences and I get two of something or I get something that I don't use or I already have, I stick it in this thing. And then when I do giveaways, I have all sorts of fun stuff for giveaways. So it's just kind of full of random odds and ends that would be fun for a giveaway. So anytime I do a giveaway, I just kind of look through here and pull some stuff out. Like there's some watercolor paint in there, cute bags, all sorts of random odds and ends. I've got spray paint. I've got more spray paint. I've got jars that I use for my blog props. So the this store is, it looks weird, but so when I do my flat lays, which I don't know if you guys know what flat lays are. It's when you um, like lay things out. Like if I did a watercolor picture, you know, you strategically place your watercolors and your paint, um, paint brush. And so this is the kind of the stuff that goes with my photo op. So I've got confetti because confetti is really great to use. Um, I've got different different um, paper straws up the wazoo, bags, all sorts of just really weird stuff, but you kind of need it. I don't know. It's stuff that you don't really think about when you think of blogging. And this is even more of it. Like I've got Easter grass and little pails and buckets and 
plates. So I have paper plates in different patterns. And I don't know. It's just a bunch of really weird stuff. But I use it a lot. If you want to go through my Instagram, you'll actually see a lot of that weird stuff. Um, can't even tell you what's in there. But there's some watercolor paints there. This is total odds and ends. Newspapers. I'm making some pinatas. So I've been hoarding newspapers for a while. Sculpey feathers. Just... I don't know. Lots of crap. As I'm going through this, I'm like, man, I should just start throwing stuff away. I have another shoe holder, and like I said, I want to sew one for the back of my door, and I want to sew one for this, but that holds my spray paint. So I have spray paint there, and then I have spray paint there. So I like spray paint quite a bit, and I actually don't have a preference between Rust-Oleum and Krylon. I just go whatever color I like so but except for if you guys need a good gold this one is the best gold it's the one I spray painted that with it is just the perfect gold ever so um, I've got an Ikea cart so my idea with the Ikea cart was I will load it up with the things I need and then I can wheel it out into the living room and uh, craft and then I can wheel it back. But guess what? It got filled with crap. <laughs> and so it's always full. This is like my planner and my sketchbooks. All sorts of... I, I don't know why, but I literally have four notebooks to keep notes in. I just... I keep starting new ones. I've got Sharpies. This is my watercolor stuff. Down here is my projects that I'm um, working on. So I'm going to be doing a project with this cool stuff. It's stitchable mesh. It's not fun? I've got cork. I've got um, squirt bottles in there. This is a super cool thing I stole. Uh, not, I didn't steal, but I got at Michael's. But it is um, a pad of paper, and it's resist paper. So you paint over it with watercolors. I don't know if you can see. So the part where it's shiny is going to stay white. The watercolor is not going to stick to that. So it's super fun. But guess what? I haven't had time to sit down and play with it. I just thought it was so fun. So little odds and ends like that go there. And last, we're so close to the end. It's a spice rack full of glitter because I don't cook, but I do craft. So, all right. So that is my craft room. I'll give you a real quick. They're doing some landscaping out there, look. Being noisy, how rude is that? Okay, so craft desk, cork board. That's my vinyl stuff. My paint wall, all the way down. We've got fabric, sewing machine. It's full of stuff up there. Oh, I made some embroidery hoops. I got them at the thrift store for really cheap and then spray painted them gold and hung them because I want to get new light fixtures. I have this same, we call it the boob light. I have these same light fixtures in every room in my house and I don't know how to wire stuff. I'm afraid I'm going to electrocute myself. So I haven't been brave enough to change them out. So I just kind of hide them with other stuff. Over here is books, glue guns yarn, all sorts of stuff, window seat, that's where I take most of my blog photos, up there is a fun create sign that's really dark, and then just because I like to keep it real and I hope you guys are um, feeling bad about anything, because guess what, this is the mess that I pulled out to take this video, so it is actually a huge mess normally. But see, this is all stuff I'm working on, so I can't just put it away, because if I put it away, I forget that I'm working on it. So I have to keep it out. So it just kind of sits there and clutters up my craft room. So, anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions. I actually have a full post on my blog about um, where I got everything. So I will link that up at the end, and I hope you guys are having a good day. We'll see ya.